Hey, all you folks out there on Heartland RC, I want to welcome here, welcome you here to Skip's RC Racetrack. Uh, Skip is actually Bill Pfizer, known Bill for a number of years. We've run off and on and oval and whatever, and I uh, guess you've decided to uh, try your hand at owning an RC track so far. What is this, third race? Yeah, it's our, our third uh uh, full night of racing uh, had a great time we we, we just kind of felt like there's everybody has so much money invested in these uh, and we love playing with our toy cars and we needed a place to render in the winter time and uh, I live close and uh, the building's been available for a couple of years and and uh, we had the opportunity to rent it so uh, here we go. It ought, it ought to be a good time. <laughs> here we go. You know, I don't know how many years, Bill, I've been waiting to have a track over here on the Northland. We've had some outdoor tracks as far as parking lot and I think some things like that. But this is the first indoor, and of course, my favorite dirt oval. And uh, man, it's got to be quite an undertaking. I'm sure just even getting it started is quite a bit of work. Yeah, it's been a lot of work, but I'll tell you, I've had a lot of help. Uh, a lot of folks have, have uh, gone out of the way to help us out. Uh, we got the dirt from a local guy. Uh, my wife's helping the concession gym, and, and the boys are uh, getting the races set up every week. Uh, we've just had a lot of support from uh, the dirt oval guys. You know, we're, we're a separate breed than the off-roads. Yeah. And uh, we've had uh, good turnouts and a lot of support. Uh, I just couldn't be happier right now. Yeah. Uh, a couple of things we probably shouldn't go over as far as the track itself. First of all, um, how you would get here i live in north kansas city so it's not a big deal for me i just come out nine highway jump on 45 and come up but if somebody say was coming from downtown or johnson county would be the best way for them to get here uh the the easiest thing is take i-29 to 64th street which is 45 highway and just stand until you get to our front door uh, the Johnson County group or the KCK guys, they can come uh, past the speedway on 435 across the Missouri River to the first exit, which is 45 Highway. Uh, go west, and we're uh, nine miles from that intersection. Uh, the guys from St. Joe come straight down I-29 to 92 Highway, come down to 45. We're kind of between the town of Farley and Beverly. If you're world travelers, you know where those are. Uh, but our address is Platte City, uh, and we're just uh, two miles east of the Missouri River from Leavenworth. So the Leavenworth Lansing guys can come over the Topeka. bridge. Topeka group, Topeka. sure. Uh, the guys from Omaha were coming this weekend and uh, they figured, they Googled on the map. Uh, our address is 13355 North 45 Highway, Platte City, Missouri. Right. So uh, if you Google it, it takes you right to the front door. It's yeah. great. I was going to say, when you're coming down 45, all you got to do is look for those big red buildings yeah. on the east side of the road. And uh, the first time I came out, I stopped and took a little tour through Farley because <laughs> I, I was mistaken. I thought it was in town, but it wasn't. Uh, Bill, let's talk a little bit about the classes you're going to be running here. I think right now it's kind of pretty much an open deal. It's almost bring run what you brung as far as sprints, East Coast. Uh, late model and some of the others, but uh, is it going to stay that way or will it be changing? We we hope to keep it uh, the rules we have now. Uh, Checkered Flag Raceway had a great set of rules. Uh, we really like those. That the, uh, Everybody in the, com in the racing community kind of runs by those rules, so I think we're just going to adopt those. Uh, we may make a few minor changes, run uh, direct drives on late models and uh, modifieds, uh, sprint cars, mm -hmm. and uh, run some side dams possibly on late models. Uh, but the rules that uh, they set up at Checkered Flag that Tim McDowell did, I mean, all the other uh, outside dirt rules are following those. Mm -hmm. People have those cars set up, so I'm, I'm pretty sure we'll stick with that set. So nobody's going to have to be making a bunch of changes if they've been running at Checkered Flag or Lamadega. They can pretty much just come right out here and run and won't have to change a thing. Absolutely, absolutely. We are going to start one class, uh, take truck chassis and run a modified body on it. Uh, just like our outlaw buddy Eddie said, uh, you don't ever see trucks run on dirt ovals. So yeah. we'll probably get uh, and run modified bodies on, on truck chassis here in uh, the near the future. We are going to start a points series uh, starting the 1st of November. It'll run a couple, three months. We'll probably have another one after the first of the year. Uh, run for points and some plaques and such. Uh, we plan on having a couple big races. Mm -hmm. uh, 
the track's really coming on, and uh, I think with a couple more hard weeks of tearing it up and packing it back in, we'll yeah. we'll be ready to go super fast. I was going to say this is my second night out, and uh, as far as I'm concerned, lots of traction. Uh, I mean, you can a little round about like most racetracks. So around the top, you're going to have some loose stuff. You're going to get in a little trouble up there. But boy, if you can stay mid track or below, I mean, it's really racy as far as I'm concerned. A lot of traction. Yeah, we're well pleased with it. Uh, rubber tires working great. Uh, our buddy Jim's running slicks tonight, and. Uh, He's uh, traction rolling, so we got tons of grip. We're real happy with that part. Yeah. It's just good old Platte County dirt. Yeah. I was going to say, man, you can't beat it over here in God's country. It's one of those places where we got it all together. Uh, Skip, I was something else I was going to. Oh, uh, transponders. I understand uh, you, you've got a transponder system now, but you're going to be changing over to uh, the, the transponders and the system from Lama Dig. Yes, sir. Uh, we're using Robotronics right now. It's kind of a light beam. Uh, we've had a couple issues. You've probably had as much trouble as anybody tonight. Uh, uh, we are going to start using A and B starting this Saturday. Uh, and in, we hope with by the first year we'll be using personals. And we'll have some house transponders, but um, kind of step up and, and uh, do it like all the big boys do. <laughs> uh, one last question. I know there's a lot of guys out there who have shown some interest on Heartland as far as uh, having an off-road. you got any idea of, or plans when that might be happening? Uh, we've thought about it. We're doing uh, trucks on Thursday nights. We're on an op, uh, oval on uh, Tuesdays and Saturdays. Uh, we are uh, we offer like a core truck class on Thursday nights. If we get some interest with that and we have some off-road guys come in, uh, we've got tons of building. Uh, we'll be glad to put in a big off-road track if, if that's what those guys want to do. You know, I'm an oval guy all the way. <laughs> and I'm all in favor of off-road. It's just we, if we, we have a lot of interest, then we'll do that. Yeah, I also... You know, you kind of hate to run opposite anybody else, too, as far as that goes. Uh, Steve's got his business going out there at Fast Lane, and they've got a tremendous setup, and I know you don't want to run against them guys. And, you know, you can understand that and want to keep it separate. Absolutely. Uh, you know, there's more than enough uh, racetracks in Kansas City. We're, uh, we're trying real hard to, uh, to make it easy on everybody. Uh, like I say, off-road and oval guys are a little different, so that's the reason we run Saturdays because it's an easy day. Yeah. Uh, but we won't be running against Steve or yeah. Checkered Flag or Lama Day or, or Outlaw. Yeah. Uh, we we kind of want to get along with those guys and, and complement their schedules. Right. Okay, folks, we're going to wrap it up here at Skip's RC Raceway. Man, if you're a Dirt Oval fan and you enjoy running on the dirt, bring them out, man. We got it going out here already. But we're going to close it out right now. Bill, once again, thanks a lot for going to the trouble for doing this. Like I say, I've been waiting for a long time for a track over north. Yeah, well, thanks for coming out, Mike. We appreciate it. See y'all. Two, one, go.